guys, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Imari, also known as Soul Style Beauty, and today I wanted to do a full makeup tutorial, so that's exactly what I did today. Um, this look was on my Instagram, I wore it actually yesterday, I had a date night with my babe. So yeah, we went out to like a steak place and I wore this look, and a lot of people like sent me DMs and I was like, should I film like a taken off my makeup, like what I use? Or should I do a fall makeup tutorial? And a lot of people voted for fall makeup tutorial, so that's exactly what I'm doing today. Um, don't forget to follow me on Insta at Soul Style Beauty to keep up with me if I'm not on YouTube. And let's get into this tutorial. Okay, so the very first thing I'm gonna do is actually use a moisturizer. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, and you know my platform is Soul Style Beauty, I talked about this company called Avia. And I work with them in the past, but their moisturizers are bomb. I just really love how it makes my skin feel. Like my skin is super moisturized when I use this moisturizer. Okay, so now that my face is nice and moisturized, I'm gonna use my Becca Ever Matte Primer, but I'm only gonna use it in my T-zone or whatever, cause I just don't want it to be like super dry. For foundation, I'm actually going to go in with Maybelline, the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation in 355 Coconut. And I'm also going to mix this with the Born This Way Foundation in the shade Chai. I've been mixing these two. I feel like Chai is a little bit lighter than me, but I do feel that like mixing them together gives me like the perfect like formula, gives me the perfect color. So I've been really liking mixing these two foundations. In my last video, I told you guys that I was planning a brunch in September um, called God's Girls Brunch. So if you're in Brooklyn, New York, definitely let me know. But I wanted to specifically like zoom in on the last event and what happened with the last event. So I remember posting this event, and like I said, I felt like it was a desire. Like I feel like God. I definitely plan prayed about this event. I definitely feel like God um, told me to start it or whatever. And yeah, so fine. I was like, okay, I'm gonna start this brunch. So I had this event and I was like promoting it and I work by myself like until I feel like God gives me someone else to share the vision with that is as passionate about, about it um, as me. I'm doing this all alone. There's no profit, it's just ticketed events. And it's like work to plan events, to find a space and so on. So I basically was like, okay, fine. I'm going to look for event spaces, do what I have to do, which is not easy. And finally had an event space um, to work with. So I have an event space to work with and I start promoting this event and I feel like a lot of people were like, okay, great, like Imari, this is like a great vision. But I felt like when it came to promoting and supporting, like there was a huge lack of that. And it discouraged me so much. And like, it was close to the event and I just felt like so discouraged that I ended up postponing the event. And it's not the fact that I wasn't sure that God told me to actually have the brunch and to do this and like, you know, actually go forth with it. But it was just the fact that I wasn't in the right mind space of having this event. And I feel like, Doing these events, like people don't realize it's an act of serving. 
people. The last event that I had, the first brunch that I did have, I didn't even eat. Like, I was just worried about how it was flowing. I was like speaking and facilitating. Like, I didn't even get a chance to barely touch food that time. So it's like when I'm planning these events, like my whole heart needs to go in it. Um, yeah, I ended up canceling it and a lot of people stepped forth and was like, oh, Mari, like I really feel like you should do this event, like continue doing it and so on. Um, I'm using the Jaclyn Hill palette. Take a break for a second from that combo. And I'm actually gonna go in with these two shadows. These are the two shadows that I'm using today. So it's just two shadows, that's it. Um, but I am going to start off with this shadow here. So yeah, I'm like, oh my gosh, everybody is like so super supportive about the event. But I noticed that it didn't like translate. Like I felt that, you know, like as a support, even if you can't make it to somebody's event, like you can do like word of mouth, you know? I feel like just telling people about it, like maybe even posting it on Instagram, like so people are aware of it because it just doesn't take one po person to promote it. You need multiple people to promote it. Um, and of course, like I know you don't have to mention to me, God is able to like fill the seats and so on, but I just felt like I should not go forward with the event just because of where my heart was. It wasn't like when I had the first brunch. Um, when I had the first brunch, I was so prepared, like prayed about the message. Everybody was touched, like that brunch was beautiful. And I felt that I wasn't getting that same sense of peace in a sense. And of course I was like discouraged and kind of upset of, you know, people not promoting and being supported, like supported through actions. Because if you want to be supported, I feel like it's not like just, oh hey, like I love what you're doing. Like no, like you support through action. Um, so yeah, I just felt like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. I have to cancel, I felt discouraged. I had like a full on breakdown. Um, and if you know me, I don't cry unless I'm like super upset or like super overwhelmed. Like it has to be like extreme, extreme for me to like get like that. And I had to call my boyfriend like crying because I'm like, this is a dream that God, I felt like wanted me to go forth with. It's a desire, but what's going on God? Like I feel like at that moment, like I didn't feel the support. I didn't feel amped to like, do it like it was just so so discouraging to me and um yeah i talk about this just because like when you're doing things for god it's not going to be easy like you'll be graced through it but it's not like a walk in the park rainbows ponies and everything else like when you're doing things for god it's like a true like war with the enemy because at the end of the day like bringing his people together bringing women together like studying his word let alone at these places and being able to share out boldly about Christ like the enemy doesn't want that so it's like any other any tactic that he can use to kind of set you off from the purpose like that will happen and I was just like oh my gosh I felt like the enemy definitely won that battle and then my boyfriend was like no at the end of the day like you're going to have another one even if you had to postpone it so it took me a while to kind of like accept that because I'm like oh my gosh dad I let so many people down but I share that just because you know when you see these people doing wonderful things for God like you see the Jackie Hill Perry's like uh what is her name Heather Lindsay and Ashley Empowers like they're doing wonderful things for the Lord but everybody sees like the end result but you don't see the war and the battle that they have personally with the enemy it's no joke it's not a game um so I just feel that people need to be mindful of that and like especially if you do feel like God is calling you to something and to step out on something you need to be completely um firm and know your foundation have a right foundation of like the word and who god is and who you are in christ because i'm telling you that will hold you up that foundation is literally everything so actually now i'm gonna go in with this shadow here but nonetheless um i felt like god definitely like showed himself so faithful because i was just like god I know that this is a desire, like I feel that, you know, sometimes we're okay with like going to church and like having surface relationships and like to me I'm not okay with it and it really actually bothers me and 
like the fact that it's like I feel like it's just inconsistency in a way too. So like setting up a, a like a space specifically at that time for us to communicate, you know, I feel like that would be like a really great thing. Um, so yeah, I just felt like you know really down about it, and I was even like questioning my church, the community, should I change churches and. So many people like prayed for me, um, and I do feel like God definitely got me out of that mindset, and I was able to, you know, move past it. And nonetheless, like right now, I'm having my second one, um, which is gonna be in October. So I'm super happy about that. But I just want to be real. I just really want to be real about what doing things for God like entails. It's actually such a big war and a battle of the mind. I'm telling you, it's like anything. The enemy will use any single thought that's like even, oh, you think that, you know, this community is for you, like trying to like take me away from like my own church. And my church is like wonderful as far as like the pastor goes and like t hearing the, the word and being it being taught directly from the Bible he doesn't just teach one part of the Bible so I'm like you know my church I love my church I can't leave my church like that would be silly Imari so um, yeah so either way I'm just super happy that I'm out of that funk and God definitely brought me out of that funk and now I'm planning my second one so it's gonna be on October 6th in Brooklyn New York Yes, Brooklyn, my hometown. Um, October 6th. So yeah, it's going to be at this place called uh, Pecant. And I'll leave the event break down below. But yeah, guys, that was like such a war with like the enemy. And uh, my mind was like on like leaving my church and going somewhere else and like none of that stuff I feel like that was just such a attack like a spiritual attack because at the end of the day especially like leaving the church I can't stand when people do that so like for me to even think like that I know that's not me because I'm like wherever you go like you're the common denominator you got to deal with your issues wherever you go like everything is gonna bother you because it's not no one is a perfect church, so I feel like the more you grow in knowledge and also spiritual maturity, like you would know there is no such thing as a perfect church, there's no such thing as perfect people. So people are going to disappoint you because they're people, you know? So like even when I was thinking like that, I'm like, nah, B, like this is definitely a spiritual attack. Okay, so I showed you guys this palette in my last um, video, but this palette is bomb, like bomb. So I'm going in with the highlighting powder as, and I'm gonna use that, of course, as a setting powder here. So now before I contour, I'm always going to use my LA Girl Concealer again. And then I'm gonna go in with the contour powder here. But um, yeah guys, I encourage you, like I felt like that taught me so much just about myself and like everything is not perfect. It's not a, a game out here. Like you really, 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 really need to have the right part. I'm telling you, it will not stand if you don't have that firm foundation with the Lord. So, yeah, I felt like it taught me so much of just like, you need to trust God and you need to make sure that you're like doing the right thing. Yes, 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 yes,
Just making sure to be okay all around. So, um, yeah. So I'm gonna go back to the eyes right now. I'm gonna line my, I'm gonna use liner and put on lashes and come back on camera. Okay, so where are we right now? So I put on my Ardell Demi Wispies. Uh, yeah, so my Ardell Demi Wispies. I also put on some mascara. I always use the Great Lash by Maybelline on my top and bottom lashes. And then, what else did I do? I put my eyeliner on, of course. So right now, I'm about to go in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, which is an all-over face powder, and I absolutely love it, and I'm in the shade Deep Dark. So, yeah, I think a big part of doing what I do, especially, like, blogging, is, like, Talking about Jesus and like doing these things will never probably be the most popular thing. If I got up here and had like a gossip column or if I'm talking about some drama, people will click my page real quick. Or if I was to sit here and have like a vlog channel with Jose, like people would be all up in it. But like my thing is like at the end of the day, as long as I know that what I'm doing touches or inspires or motivates, like that's good enough for me. That's like purpose driven. I don't have to be the most popular person on YouTube, but I want to make sure that I'm instilling some truth into my channel. I want to be able to spread the gospel. I want to be able to talk about makeup and fashion and not take away from who I am and my hobbies. However, I am going to talk about my beliefs and do it boldly. So I think that also realizing that, yeah, this might not be the most popular thing to do and that's okay. So yeah, right now I'm going to actually go in, I don't know if I should go in my highlight first. Yeah, let's go in with the highlight. So I'm going to spray my face with a setting spray. So I'm just gonna press in my powder. I'm actually gonna go in with my Jackie Aina highlighter, you already know, in La Peach. So lastly, I'm of course going in with a new lippy and this has been like my go-to like for a while now. So this is the ColourPop Lip Liner in the shade K. I think it's discontinued. If this one is discontinued, just use MAC Lip Liner, Chestnut, or any other brown lip liner, it will do. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot to tell you guys what this was before I put on my lips. This is the MAC Lip Tensity Lipstick and Toast and Butter. So yeah guys, this is the finished look. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up this video and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you like, tell me what you agree with, and if you have anything to share. If you want to find me on Insta or social, um, I'm at Soul Style Beauty, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.